headless CMS, you might have heard of this term multiple times, but you are not actually sure how to use it in your project. Hey everyone, I'm Ashi and in this video, we will learn about everything in headless CMS and how you can use it in your project. We will also explore the different options available to use as a headless CMS. So without wasting no more time, let's get started. So before starting what a headless CMS is, let's first talk about a CMS. CMS stands for content management system. It is basically a software that takes care of your content and also the front end. Traditionally, CMS are used to be a particular different uh, websites and on the same website, you have your front end, a user which doesn't have any particular knowledge of coding can also manage that website. And on that website, you can actually upload the data, you can add the blocks, you can add images, you can make changes and the same will be reflected on front end very easily. So a headless CMS is a type of CMS which is only the backend only system for managing content that provides content to any frontend via the APIs without being tied to a specific presentation layer for a website or a mobile app. So this headless CMS is just uh, the head stands for the front end. You can have that front end, you will get all the backend data. There will be a separate panel for you like in any uh, CMS that you use, uh, which is a headless CMS. So in any headless CMS, you get a separate uh, content uh, panels. And in that panel, you can actually modify your content, add your content and the same content you will get through APIs. And those APIs, you can use it in your web apps or in your mobile applications or in your Alexa powered applications. You can use it anywhere you like. So this is how it makes uh, like content management very easy. If you have a website, if you have a web app, App, or if you have other implications that you want to use that data anywhere else so you can go for a headless CMS it is a decoupled architecture because it has decoupled the head it focuses solely on storing and managing the content it is not related it is not tied to any front-end technology the content delivery is handled through APIs, usually REST or GraphQL. So it is uh, your the data will be uh, provided to you through the API. And unlike traditional CMS, like some of the example of the traditional CMS would be the WordPress, Wix, etc. So it doesn't control how con content is displayed on front end. It gives you complete flexibility on wherever you want to use that data. And also the content API, content is accessible via the APIs, making it very easy to integrate with different platforms such as websites, mobile apps, IoT devices or any digital interface. Flexibility for developers. As a developer, we can actually choose any front-end framework. We can choose React, Angular, Vue or any platform where we want to present that data. Now talking about some of the examples, some of the options that we have available as a CMS. So first let's go to one of the CMS that is contentful. So here you can see content that takes you from anywhere to everywhere. In this line itself, we are able to uh, like get the main USB of a uh, headless CMS. So if uh, you want to uh, go for any of the CMS, you when you go to their website, uh, there we will have the resources and inside the resources we have resources center and also we have one for developers so here developer community documentation we have and we also have the starter templates so these starter templates can actually be very helpful for you while getting started so let's go to the documentation and uh, here we can see contentful starter templates you can go on to this and uh, you can see the front end preview uh, like how this particular content management system, how this headless CMS will show to you. So you can see here we have the landing page, home page, and here it is uh, just taking care of the content. So the name, the page name, the description that you need to add, whether it's different images, you can add the links, etc. All you can actually define by yourself. Okay, and let's go to the next uh, option that we have. This is Trappy.io and inside it build websites 10 times faster with the most customizable headless CMS. So we can use it in a next app. Here we have the command also that we can use it. It is an open source headless CMS for developers that makes API creation very easy. Here we have the developers. Inside it we have the open source. We can we have the source code available with us. It's an open source and we can also see how we can and use it in our project pricing docs let's go to docs okay so we have this user guide we have this developer docs inside this developer docs uh, most of the admin panel so this is the again the front end the uh, way by which we can add it we can see we can content manager content type builder media library all that we can use user guide fundamentals is also there 
and uh, setting up the admin panel so this is the kind of the admin panel and um, again okay so here you can see we have different options these are different uh, ways like first name last name how you can start getting uh, starting with it and this is the content manager so like like suppose you are doing it for article so you will have like different options you can create new entry you can add the title to be released available status all app options all these kind of options that you have so there, there is a, like complete documentation available if you want to use it on any of your project and uh, now going back to the third option of the uh, headless CMS it is sanity sanity.io make content your competitive advantage you can also see like different clients they have added and again here we can we will have the start building expect more of your CMS treat content as data actionable scalable we can go on to this start get started and okay so it just takes you on this and once I sign up with this it will actually just create one account for me and uh, now talking about some of the benefits pros and cons of a headless cms you are a developer as a developer they comes quite handy when you have like different use cases of the content so if you have a website if you have a web app you also have an iot device you want to integrate into something in that cases a headless cms would be very helpful for you because you will not in that case you will have just one uh, your data will be at one place and you can use it in different uh, like devices in you can uh, use it for different use cases and uh, as a like normal use case normal person if you don't have the coding uh, language if you have don't have the coding sense or if you are not a coding person then this headless cms would not make sense for you and uh, talking about from the cost perspective also they are like they have like different plans so you also need to take care about of the pricing so they have like different plans all the three options if i go to pricing here and also on the sanity one okay so here we have like the in free plan we have certain things but it is also like for a limited um, like resources we have up to uh, like uh, the amount of data that you have so here you can see it's not free strappy is not free and uh, like for uh, self-hosted okay it's free on the community so you should also take uh, care of about the different pricing plans um, like from if you have just a single website then it wouldn't make sense to use a headless cms but if you have multiple then it like it makes sense to use it because if you have a single website it will be kind of a costly for you um, to just uh, go with this option so that depends upon your uh, use case but as a developer it actually makes your life much much easy because you don't need to spend your time on the backend and on the content on the uh, like different validation and that kind of stuff so your time will be saved up a lot so yeah that's it for this video let me know your thoughts on uh, this video if you liked it please share and subscribe to this channel and thank you for watching